Hello and welcome. My name's Superstain and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forgeworld and Games Workshop. I want to say a huge welcome to all of you new subscribers that have subscribed over the past week and a big thank you to all of you existing subscribers, members, patrons and Element Games affiliate link users. If you didn't already know, the best way to support this channel is by clicking on the Element Games affiliate link down below every time you order your hobby supplies or Warhammer to receive up to a 25% discount. And if you use the crystal code at the checkout as well, uh, then you're going to be earning yourself double the amount of Element Crystals, which you can use to get even more of a saving off of your hobby supplies. So without further ado, uh, let's... Uh, jump on over to the community website which is right here and um, you know straight away uh, I think this came up like yesterday uh, by joining uh, Warhammer Plus by subscribing and um, you've got a chance of winning every single like Citadel paint and things which is fantastic I think this is great that they're now um, you know not only giving you free stuff like the you know exclusive miniature next year uh, but they're, they're entering you into competitions because this is for existing um, subscribers as well uh, and um, yeah I hope they then put a reward scheme within Warhammer Plus that would really um, you know be, be the icing on the cake there so if we just go to view all and we go down to a week ago uh, there was a fair few pre-orders up uh, last weekend um, specifically uh, the new Horus Heresy Siege of Terror book, book six, uh, called Warhawk, uh, and it pits um, uh, Jagati Khan against Mortarion. Uh, I'm not going to say anything about what's happened between them in in the previous books, but um, you know, uh, let's you know, it's safe to say that I'm looking forward to to the, their sort of full showdown. Uh, hopefully, that'll be in there. You've also got the limited edition too. And, Two and a half thousand copies. Uh, there wasn't a queue last weekend on the Saturday, but it did sell out within about ten minutes or so, I think. Uh, but uh, yeah, they they always bring out these uh, limited editions, and they look fantastic. Uh, but if that's not your cup of tea, uh, you can also pick up the hardback. And I think this is the first time they've released the sort of standard hardback version with the limited edition, which is excellent. And I I can't. You know promote this enough for them to do that i think it sucks when they just release a limited edition of a book and then you have to wait you know months for the uh you know hardback or even softback um so that was a great uh great pre-order last weekend also there were a couple of books um in different languages available in german and then apart from the books uh, you could also pre-order the rest of the orcs and some joy toy action figures um for space marines uh with the um infiltrators and the incursors I always get them uh, mixed up um, but uh, yeah there are a fair few um, videos out there on the YouTube that uh, that show these um, if you wanted to have a closer look at them they look quite fun Orcs up for pre-order last weekend was the um, squig rig and again there's been some videos up uh, out there um, showcasing this and how cool it is that you can move all the turrets around you can just swap them um, so that's that's great value I, I really hope that they did this especially with this kit that is um, it's it's 80 pound you know 78 pound 50 it's knocking on the door of 80 pound um, it, it's a very expensive kit it's now the most expensive kit for uh, orcs and it just goes to show you kind of how far they've come uh, or how far their pricing has come, um, considering that this is now more expensive than a Stomper. But then again, Stomper has been around for uh, almost 14 years now. So let's let's have some perspective um, uh, with that. Uh, so yes, you also get the Whirlboy, which can be used as a separate HQ unit, and you can have a you can have the Hunter rig as well as the uh, squig rig um, also the pain boss with a couple of options with his claw and a different um, head I still haven't decided which one I'm going to go for but we'll see and the little uh, Gretchen um, helper if you know anything about Gaskell you'll know that um, 
Grotznik had a uh, little helper uh, about usually and then you've got the great white squig finally um, hopefully the great white squig will be in my hands um, a little bit later on this morning and I will be uh, building him uh, in the live stream later on today and if I've got some time I'll start on the uh, squig rig. Uh, you can also build a, a beast boss uh, on a squigasaur. Marvel Comics uh, we saw the pre-order for um, Sisters of Battle um, well, it says issue one it says you're now available with exclusive cover the art is stunning in it it's fantastic um, and then they're promoting this £150 on the web store so they they sort of really wanted you to spend £150 on the orcs and things by putting it in this article um, the next day uh, we saw the pre-orders and um, for this morning um, a little bit later on uh, from about 10 o'clock uh, you've got the Aeronautica Imperialis, a next um, sort of edition of the, the box game um, with a number of uh, models right here. It's a little bit misleading in a way because, um, I, I say misleading, you get three, you get 11 new miniatures in the box, you get three uh, Nightwings, three Phoenix Bombers, so that's six, uh, you get two Storm Eagles and three Xiphon Interceptors. But then when you look here, it shows, um, you know, six. So you don't get six, by the way. This is just the Nightwing Squadron. Um, so I think that this will be, you know, these will be available separately in their own box. These will be separately in the box in the, the Phoenix Bombers. The Xiphons, you've got six of them there uh, available separately. And then two uh, Storm Eagles. Um, would have been nice for them to release the um, Thunderhawk as well. Uh, it's going to be a bit odd if the Thunderhawk is the only thing that they'll release separately um, next week or the week after. Uh, you've also got some cards and the dice. I really like the Eldar dice. I'm tempted to pick these up. They look like pretty old, um, you know, dice, don't they? This this bone effect. I really like it. I'm very tempted. Uh, yeah, you've also got the uh, Astartes dice too. This metallic colour. Um, I like to see uh, salamanders getting some love though. Uh, I think that colour scheme. You've got uh, new um, boards and actually new um, ground assets. Uh, orc ones too. Look, um, as well as uh, Imperial Navy. You've got some Vansar weapons and upgrades, and then one of my most anticipated uh, pre-orders is. One of Papa Nurgle's gifts, um, Koyo, have uh, created this adorable Nurgling plush. I want a massive one, guys. I do want a massive uh, Nurgling. That'd be fantastic. But uh, yeah, no no pre-order pe period. So I guess, yeah, um, he'll be available forever, hopefully. Uh, and then Warhammer Plus f um, for this week uh, that's just gone. I had a Lawmaster Gaskell Thracker. A glazing uh, video, Deep Strike Angels of Death and a Battle Report Kill Team, uh, as well as some extra articles and White Dwarfs added to the Warhammer Vault. And then Black Library, you've got uh, this limited edition f uh, book for the twice dead king, uh, Ruin. Uh, 1,250 copies, so not many at all. Uh, it's not as bad as, you know, 750, but uh, yeah, the page edges will probably keep you up at night. <laughs> the glowing uh but uh then you've got this which i'm not you know nate crowley he did um gaskell and i've enjoyed that book yeah i i think the cover is fine i really do um you know if you were to get the standard edition uh you've also got silent hunters um i think it's available in paperback and um you've got books 36 to 40 uh, with no pre-order period as well then you've got the uh, other articles such as uh, the events that are uh, up at Warhammer World. So um, we've got a Blood Bowl event on the 23rd of October. You've got a Kill Team Match Play event on the 24th. Uh, you've got a Crusade event, Escape from Pancalis, on the 13th to the 14th of November. You've got a team event for 40k. You've got another team event for Age of Sigmar. And you've got a Middle Earth uh, event. So uh, what they're doing is they're, they're doing these sort of like play events rather than actual like showcases and things um i'm wondering whether 
they they just decided we we're not going to do any showcases and uh, like Horace Heresy events and open days until 2022. Um, I wonder if they're going to do anything for the end of December. Uh, they usually do something in New Year, but uh, but we'll see. You've got the uh, Joy Toy Infiltrators and Incursors get everywhere, and we mean everywhere. Article showcasing these with some lovely looking um, pictures. <laughs> Not sure whether that's actually real. It doesn't look real, does it? Looks like it's just been photoshopped. Uh, same with that one. Same with that. And definitely that one. Once they're gone, they're gone for good. You can meet the Vansar Orgmex who take their pets to the battlefield. And there, here they are. Venomous Cyber Arachnids. Cyber Acnids, I'm, I'm pronouncing that, is quite interesting. Then you've got Grimaldis, the relic saving and orc smashing high captain, high chaplain of the Black Templars is back. So this was big news this week. Um, a little video as well for him. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Looks a bit like a horse or a donkey um, face, but there we go. And um, I think you can have him without the helmet. Uh, and you get his retinue, which look absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm pleased that they redid those too. So, yeah, Black Templars are definitely getting a lot of love in this. The Codex, by the way, is not a full Codex. It is a supplement. I'm just putting that out there. And then the Rumor Engine. It looks like some kind of bone ship with the, the prow of the ship. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, the Black Templars coin and miniature in store. Uh, I think it's just an assault intercessor. I don't think it's anything massively special, but you can get your collectible coin uh, too by spending over the sixty pound. I mean, uh, this hobby is getting quite expensive now, guys. Um, for you know, everybody that wants to uh, either get um, you know five pound vouchers from Forge World a couple of months ago to spending over a hundred pound and trying to win a Titan last month to uh, getting a free Space Marine this month at £150, and then there's the coins every month at £60. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's getting pretty expensive if you want to you know, collect all of these things and uh, get, get some things for free as well. Uh, there's an article about uh, Harrowdeep, um, which is the shadowy new setting for Warhammer Underworld, so this is the next uh, box set. I really enjoyed Diachasm. Uh, I thought the miniatures were pretty awesome, uh, and um, yeah, no doubt there'll be more of a, a showcase and a, a look at Harrow Deep uh, figures a little bit later on uh, in, in these articles. Um, you got a quiz about which faction from the Aeronautica Imperialis Wrath of Angels box is right for you. Um, you've got a little look at the White Dwarf 469. Look at uh, Seraphon. And you're also getting an immersive atmospheric background. Nice that they're, they're looking at the um, White Dwarf itself and then, ah, oh, beautiful cover art for the um, subscription one as well. There was an article um, just acknowledging that the Lawmasters video for Warhammer Plus uh, is Gaskell Thracker. Um, then another article about Aeronautica Imperialis, Black Library submissions. Um, if you've ever wanted to write your own Black Library story, you can um, submit like a short story. Another Aeronautica. Uh, this time focusing on the um, Eldar, and then uh, there's a new Hammer and Bolter trailer for the fresh insights of what's coming next. So Hammer and Bolter returns, um, and this time we've got some uh, Space Wolves and Eldar and uh, Striking Scorpions, uh, as well as some Sisters, um, which is fantastic. And of course, Angels of Death returns in November. If you were wondering, you know when then, when that was going to come back. There's a look at the uh, escape room, the Warhammer Forty Thousand themed escape room in Nottingham. Uh, I think uh, these guys built it, um, and not with the direction of Games Workshop. They just built it, and it be themed um, with with Forty K. Uh, and then they've reached out to Games Workshop and said, "Oh look, look, you know, look, look, look what we've done." Games Workshop like, yeah, that's awesome. So, um, yeah, that's why they're, they're sort of showcasing this a bit. Um, no doubt it's going to be very, very popular now. Uh, so good luck um, ordering tickets and things. Uh, so if escape rooms are your uh, thing, then um, by all means, um, it might be worth uh, giving these guys a call and uh, seeing if you can get 
on uh, on one of these experiences. A Middle Earth uh, article uh, looking at the upcoming fall of the Necromancer. Um, Haradeep article. I'll have a look at the new uh, minis. I think the new minis have been showcased in a previous article, actually. Armies on Parade, you can put your entries in right now. And then this came out uh, yesterday on the 1st of October, um, the Citadel Masterclass. You can win every paint tool and brush in a Citadel range with Warhammer Plus. So just being a uh, subscriber, um, you can win all of that. And that does look fantastic. I mean, bearing in mind, um, each one of these paints is about three pounds or so. Uh, so yes, hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth of uh, uh, minis. Um, on top of all this, uh, they also gave us a preview of what's happening next week. Now we don't normally get this until like the Sunday. Uh, so there's gonna be a battle report, Stormcast and Beast Claw uh, Raiders and how to paint gems and uh, new Hammer and Bolter episode. So you can be a, an existing subscriber for Warhammer Plus or you can just subscribe now. An article about the Warhammer US Open and join the festivities and then how to get started with the Wrath of Angels. So that's it for all of the um, news uh, over the past week since Saturday last weekend. Um, what we'll do now is we'll have a quick look at Forge World because there is nothing uh, to, to pre-order. Um, we, we go right here and usually there's something in the banners um, but there isn't. There's just adverts for Imperial Fists, Word Bearers and uh, Gilliman which are the three legions that have uh, had newest miniatures um they're still showcasing these necromunda uh, minis that which i think came out uh like last week or two weeks ago but yeah as you can see there's nothing um on there uh to to pre-order um unfortunately uh, but if you now type in such as arcus uh you've got an arcus there and um they've done a very very good job of um stocking everything uh back um, it's fantastic one thing I will say is a lot of things have had um, price increases I'll say that right now some of it is because of inflation so the Thunderhawk gunship that did come out four years ago believe it or not uh, and it was um, released at a price of 475 pounds I bought one uh, on release in person before it came out on the web store I, I purchased mine uh, so that's gone up from 475 to 499. Now you may think, oh super, that's 24 pound increase. What on earth are they doing? Well, inflation is 2.5%. You do that over four years, and I think it's about 511 um, or so, and and that's just to last year, in the in those um, sort of three years. So yeah, some things have had increases, but their increases that they have had haven't exceeded uh, inflation, um, which is great. Um, some things haven't had an increase at all, like the Asterius, and that came out almost three years ago now. So it's, yeah, it is a bit disheartening that some things have had increases, but um, the majority of it have been, uh, I say in line with inflation, actually lower than inflation. So um, this is what you can expect. It's just another reason, if there are things that you want to get from Forge World, to go out and get them. Um, before they do uh, have an increase. I mean, the longer you wait, the more these are going to go up in, in price. But then again, you know, the more valuable your, your money will be in the future too. <laughs> well, we hope. Yeah, so that's just a little uh, look at the zero pre-orders on Forge World, but uh, a, a focus on the most recent price increase. So now uh, we will go over to Games Workshop and have a look at um, the... Aeronautica pre-orders and the Nurgling plushie. Okay, so here we are on uh, Games Workshop's web store on the first page. There are quite a few new uh, tabs uh, this morning. Um, you've got, uh, well, the Orcs from last week. Um, you have, well, yeah, the Space Marine Sergeant, if you spend over £150. Um, Aeronautica Imperialis uh, new box set. Um, very interested to pick this up. Um, at some point in the future. Uh, you've got the McFarlane toys. And then down here, you've got Upgrade Your Van Saar, Return to the Horus Heresy, and the Koyo, or Koyo, however you want to pronounce that, uh, Little um, little Rotter, the uh, 
plushy Nurgling. So if we click on new and exclusive and we go to pre-orders, 37 pre-orders today, that's a nice chunk. And if we go to high to low and view all, um, there's a couple that were up for pre-order not only last week, but you know, a good couple of months ago now with the Gaunt's Ghosts. Um, but uh, you've got the Horus Heresy print on demand uh, for £95. Um, these uh, novels in hardback usually are £20 each, so you're saving uh, £5 uh, with this bundle. And I wish Games Workshop would do that more often. Um, you know, save yourself five or ten pounds even uh, for the for these bundle um, kind of for these uh, bundle selections. Um, the Kill Rig and Hunter Rig were pre-orders last weekend. This is the Aeronautica Imperialis Wrath of Angels. Not not too expensive really. Fifty seven pound fifty under that nice sweet spot of uh, of sixty pound. Um, and you are getting your eleven uh, multi part uh, minis. So there are the, the Eldar craft, all six of them. And then you're getting the five Space Marine um, craft as well. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how the uh, Thunderhawk measures up compared to its full size resin counterpart. Um, yeah, lots of detail on these. Really like them. And I think they're in the same scale of Adeptus Titanicus. So if you wanted to add a crashed uh, Phoenix Bomber or Nightwing, onto your um, Titanicus uh, bases or even on the battlefield um, this would be a, a good way to do that um, and then you can get them separately so you've got the Nightwing squadron here £26 for the six you've got the um, Phoenix Bomber squadron £26 for three and you've got the Siphon Interceptors £26 uh, for six and then the two Storm Eagles for £26 as well I think it's worth me picking them up at some point soon because I have just bought a uh, Storm Eagle and Fire Raptor and the main focus on the channel in terms of um, Space Marines at least is with Flyers and Dreadnoughts. You've got the Siege of Terror Warhawk which was pre-ordered last weekend and as I say Gaunt's Ghost was a while back but today the Twice Dead King Ruin Special Edition £40. You can still pre-order it which is great. I think there's, did it say 1200 copies? Uh, it doesn't say there, and it doesn't say there, but I'm sure it said um, in the, uh, you know, the the articles that I've just uh, just read. There are about 1,200 of them, um, but uh, looks looks nice, you know. Um, got this uh, sort of fluorescent green. Doesn't say how many pages it is. However, using the power of the internet, I've managed to um, discover that it's 370 pages. Um, so quite a chunky one, really. Um, the Gasgill book was only 220 odd pages. So this is, uh, yeah, um, and, and that was the same price. So uh, if, if it's, uh, you know, content that you're after, uh, this one is, uh, you know, about a third larger uh, than his previous um, novel. Uh, same same author, obviously, Nate, Nate Crowley, or Crowley, however you want to pronounce his name. Um, then you've got the uh, aforementioned uh, Aeronautica Imperialis, um, uh, ships, squadrons individually, they're all at that £26 price point. Uh, you've got the uh, new board. I'd like to say it's double sided. Yeah, that's quite nice. You get like a lava planet. Um, I have the high ground Anakin, um, you know. So, and then you've got like a moonscape. Nice choice of uh, air spaces. Uh, you've got the Imperial Navy and Orc air war ground assets. Really interesting that Games Workshop decided to do these in, in plastic and not resin. There are some resin um, ground assets and um, anti-air uh, turrets um, on Forgeworld. Uh, if you wanted to have a look at them. I like the silos, they're quite cool. I mean, these silo things and the barricades uh, would actually look quite good on, uh, again, uh, Adeptus Titanicus spaces, even these anti-air would look fantastic too. Um, but yeah, they can be yours for £25. Uh, you've got the McFarlane toys uh, individually, £24.99. Um, you can have them unpainted or, you know, painted. Um, if you've had one of these before, you kind of know what to expect. This is what they look like. So yeah, £24.99. Um, the Pain Boss was last weekend, and then you've got all these Horus Heresy books, which are 
uh, up for pre-order today. Uh, they're re-releasing them in hardback. Uh, you've got the aircraft aces uh, cards, £20 for that pack, £20 for the Azarani or Eldar. Um, an odd one is the uh, exhibition tickets, um, like a family ticket here, um, but you can just pop to Warhammer World and buy a ticket there. Uh, you've also got this uh, Diorama's book bundle though. Uh, 80 page commemorative guidebook. It's quite nice. I'd like to hope that you can get this book at Warhammer World as well, uh, you know, when you go, you know, for the same kind of bundled price. But uh, we'll see, because it'd be quite a nice thing to have once you've gone round the exhibition and then you go and have some food at Bugman's or something and then, you, you know, you can have a look at some of the images in this uh, book uh, with your friends or family members um, over some food. And some of the displays probably are in there that um, they've removed as well. I uh, would have liked to have got my hands on the first edition, to be fair. Then you've got the Twice Dead King Ruin uh, in hardback, £18. Usually the Horus Heresy books are now £20, and then everything else is about £18. It's nice to see uh, the hardback version be released alongside the, the limited uh, edition. Let's face it, there is a £22 price difference, um, So, uh, but I think that that's worth it. You know, I, I'd always go for the limited edition now, um, because they are... Um, fantastic quality and the limited editions are um, definitely worth a look um, you know I know it's it's a tough decision to buy a limited edition book and I'm, I'm not sure whether every single novel that Black Library make um, needs one or deserves one but by all means uh, I have a, a few of them now and um, I, I've really enjoyed them then you've got the Vansar weapons and upgrades 15 pounds for all of these, what do you actually get? Looks like multi melters and plasmas, grav weapons, yeah. Oh, look at the blades and the maces. Plasma cannons, multi melters, shock mauls, servo claws, melter guns, grav guns, power knives, rad guns, flamers, lance pistols, hand flamers, and 10 alternative heads. There you go, for your 15 power. Not too bad for all those extras. Um, then you've got the Nurgling plush, £12.99. Um, an impish servant of Nurgle in soft toy form. Uh, looking forward to getting my hands on one of those at some point. Uh, you've got the Adeptus Astartes dice. Now, I, I thought that this was just a picture of a few of the dice included, but it's not. It's the full number of dice. £12.50 each means that they are very expensive. Yeah, very overpriced in my opinion. Um, especially when you look at like the Forge World dice, which were £20 for well 20 um and they were they were lovely looking dice as well so expensive dice uh, i'd probably get no no less than four sets of these and then you're talking almost 50 pounds um you've got the silent hunters are now available in paperback for 8.99 that book came out in um, hardback uh, not that long ago and then you've got the exhibition tickets and the um for the adult and for the child and that's it for all the pre-orders um quite a Nice selection, you know, you've got plenty of books there. Um, you've got the Aeronautica uh, releases, you've got the McFarlane um, action figures uh, and, uh, you know, the plushie and some dice and uh, some upgrades. So a nice little pre-order um, for for Saturday, the 2nd of October. Um, let's see what's uh, up for pre-order tomorrow. Let's see what's going to be up for pre-order next weekend on the Saturday in tomorrow's um, uh, pre-order preview at about six o'clock. Uh, in the evening it might be more age of sigma um but of course we've we've got the war master um on the horizon at some point and uh the black templars it's gonna be really interesting to see which out of those uh, are released first what do you guys think of uh, this weekend's pre-orders uh have you pre-ordered the books have you pre-ordered um the uh new necron novel uh, by Nate or are you going all in with the Aeronautica Imperialis uh, please do put your thoughts and opinions on all the pre-orders and things uh, down in the comments below thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching the Emperor Protects